have a general annual target that uh, we should meet the 25% of our uh, lending, our yeah. overall lending, which is of the, um, just to give you an idea of scale, that's of the order of 90 billion euros a year, yes. between 80 and 90 billion euros a year. We have a, we have a target that 25% of that as a minimum should yeah. be for climate action have a significant impact on climate action. And by climate action, we mean both mitigation and adaptation. Right. So that's the first point. Yeah. Second point is the sort of the sub-target below that yeah. uh, is that of the lending which we do outside the European Union, which is 10% of the total, so let's say roughly nine, eight, nine billion a year, yeah. of that lending, we want to move the 25% minimum figure up to 35% over the next five years. So that by 2020, 35% of that is is is, um, is for climate action. Last year, yeah. we did 2.2 billion outside the European Union. So that's you know you can sort of do the arithmetic. It's what over there is probably about 12%. Uh, probably about uh, so 12. So that's 12% of our overall total. I think uh, was was there and within that 2.2. So it's actually it's actually slightly slightly more than the 25% minimum. Sorry, probably, probably no, too, no, no, too no, no. many percentages there for the, for this purpose. I'm sorry, but no, that's uh, all right. It's an idea. Yeah. How susceptible is the lending program or the investment program to political uncertainty that we're starting to see, even in Europe, with you know, referendums on the horizon here and, there and everywhere? Does it affect anything that you're doing? Well, we ha we have a long-term program. We have a three-year rolling program which we're yeah. taking forward, and uh, we expect to continue that to go forward. Uh, political uncertainty in countries where we do business is all is uh, include um, anywhere in the world. Yes, is obviously something which 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 which, which, which affects our ability to, uh, to to do business. But but you can turn the turn the point around the other way to the extent that we help to develop and build economies in, uh, in uh, emerging and developing markets, that's actually good from the point of view of, of minimising yeah. political uncertainty. But it, I, what I was getting at is if there yeah. are issues in Europe, for example, with, say the Italian referendum, if there's any sort of break up in Europe, does that affect the work you're doing or are you sort of fenced, wing fenced, secure from anything? Well, we're a bank. We're doing, I mean, funny, we may be a public bank, but, we're, but, but, but we are a bank. So yeah. fundamentally, we're lending two projects. And you know we assess those projects as being bankable, and we will carry on. You know, once we decide that the project is bankable, we sign a contract in relation to that project, uh, and that, there's a contractual commitment there. So we will keep on. You know, so, so once the project is up and going and signed, that goes ahead. I think speculating about what might or might not happen in the future is 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 speculation. So I mean, in. in, in I'm not trying to duck the point. I think it's just that just the range of variables is so so wide. So as far as I'm concerned, we, we keep going doing what we're doing on a project by project basis. Okay. And you've talked about um, well, one of the things you mentioned was about investing in biodiversity. Yeah. Uh, and you've also talked about the investments in Morocco and things like yeah. Wazza. Yeah. And, the solar fields and things, that, that's very tangible in terms of your know, sort of return on investment and measuring success. How do you measure success in a project that's focused on biodiversity? It's harder to do. I mean, I, I'm not, I, you know, I think, and I think that, that one of the one of the challenges which there is in the in the whole area of climate action, but also in the area of, of, of environmental measures, is to come up with agreed measures, uh, agreed uh, agreed standards, which yeah. we can all match. That's why I mean, we work very closely with um, with other lenders. Uh, in terms of developing both things like green bond principles on the one hand, which are designed to, to provide 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 people with a clear template of yep. what, what what should be a green bond and where that should go to, but we are also working very closely with other multilaterals and indeed national and regional development banks to arrive at clear common standards for data gathering and measurement and impact measurement of yep. our lending. I won't pretend it's easy to do. It's not easy to do, but I think we're making good progress on it. But in terms of, there are, there are a lot of projects out there which will contribute to resilience in yeah. really tricky areas, in tricky yeah. you know, regions, um, that are very hard to get the R&D done, it's very hard to get the, you know, the work done to, yeah. to, to build, and biodiversity is, is a good example. Yeah. Uh, I was just wondering, how do you 
how do you say, right, this project, we, we can see a tangible success. How, yeah. how are we going to measure that success? Well, what we try to do... Or even get a return? Yeah, well, what we try to do, uh, as, far as, as far as that is concerned, we try to, we, we try, we try to arrive at techniques, and indeed we have developed a thing which we're piloting at present called the Natural Capital yeah. Finance Facility, which is designed to try to find ways of, um, of measuring these things. But essentially, when we when we when we take on any project, or when we take on when we agree to, to support it, that project needs to have clear and measurable objectives, which we define at the beginning. Yes. And we do that. Yeah. And then we see whether or not it has fulfilled that. We see whether, for example, if you're looking at biodiversity, we see whether you know, we, 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 we are, if it's a project involving uh, reforestation or, yeah. or development in a particular area, then you know we, we will start off by agreeing what the number of species is, let's say, in, yeah. in, of biodiversity in that particular area, and then by the end we will see whether or not that, that, that has been achieved. Now, uh, so it's, it's, it's sort of like anything else really, you, you, have a, you have an agreed set of objectives at the beginning and then you measure at the end whether or not you have reached those objectives. Be, the point of the sort of thing, it's not necessarily around just getting the money back, there are bigger objectives. Oh yeah, absolutely there are bigger objectives. No, I mean, and that, and I, mean, I, I, would, I would underline that, that applies to everything which we do. Yeah. I mean, I, if it's just about getting the money back, that's 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 yeah, that's, that's sort of you take that as standard. Um, I mean, that's that's what all banks, yeah. all banks want to get their money back, and we want to get our money back. But for us, to even do a project in the first place, we have to have a clear, measurable um, economic, environmental, social objectives, which we have all agreed the project will help to support yeah. before we support it. Then we support it. Then we determine, at the end, not just whether it has, as it were, made the, made the return which it should have made, but whether it has actually had the impact which it, which it, which it was meant to have had. Okay. Uh, one last point. It's, you've mentioned huge sums of money in terms of billions of, yeah. of pounds or euros, and we know that the, the amounts that are required to tackle resilience in Europe, in some places, but outside as well. Uh, almost, I think they probably run into the trivial. They do run into. The how do we? How do we yeah. scale up? No, I think is, it's, is that something that you have to look for partnerships or? Yeah. No, I'm really glad you asked that question because I think it is actually incredibly important. I mean, the numbers, the numbers are big, but they're nowhere near enough. Um, and I think this is generally accepted. And it's also generally accepted that, um, that you know, the public sector on its own is not going to be able to deliver that money. So we need to find ways of leveraging in private money. And that's, of course, part of the sort of raison d'etre of institutions like mine and other multilaterals. We only ever co-finance. Yeah. So uh, we, are, we are putting in a certain amount of money. We are hoping that that will then, I'm more than hoping, uh, we, we, we expect that that will then leverage in other money as part of the co-financing operation. Yeah. Uh, and if it is money which is going into funds, which we also, we sometimes take equity stakes in funds and bring in other so, money, then that in turn, when it goes to projects, will leverage in further amounts of money. It's, uh, I mean, it, it, it always depends on the way you look at these numbers. I mean, I mean, from one perspective, the, the you know, the, the, the trillions which are required are yeah. absolutely gigantic. On the other hand, uh, you're going to require trillions anyway in the next 10, 20, 30 years to just simply to replace worn out infrastructure. Yeah. And replacing it in, a, in what I might call a green or a, or a green way as opposed to a non-green is not that much more expensive than replacing it anyway. So the key thing is to encourage, encourage the right uh, flows of funds to, to be coming in, to, in, in order to enable us to do that. But I think that's part of our job. And uh, that's, what, what, that's what we do, that's what the other multilaterals do. Is there a, an element of uh, job creation through these uh, projects and initiatives that help justify and reach out to business to, to start getting involved? I mean, we're talking about a future economy which is sustainable. There's, yeah. There's a lot of talk where people say, well, if we move to this, it's going to create so many jobs that everyone will love it anyway. Is that is that what you're seeing? No. Really? Lots, of, lots of the projects do create jobs, and that is a good thing. Yes. Uh, and indeed, part of our objective is to, is to certainly in Europe, um, but, but elsewhere too, is to try to find ways to enable the economy to work better and so bring down uh, unemployment. But we're not a job. We're not, you know, we're not doing something just for the sake of creating jobs. Creating jobs is, is, is and, 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 and encouraging economic yeah. activity is a, is a byproduct of what we should be doing for, 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 for wider reasons. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you. Cheers, Nick.